This is Paul. And this is Rabbi Doug. Stay tuned for Taped with Rabbi Doug next. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. We're going to see Rabbi Doug on your TV tonight. But Daddy, I want to watch Monday Night Football. Forget about Monday Night Football. There's no other thing we're going to watch on Monday but Rabbi Doug. Yeah, Rabbi Doug on TV tonight. We're going to see Rabbi Doug. Oh, how many money talk about Doug? Shalom and welcome to Taped with Rabbi Doug. Glad you could be with us tonight. My guests today are two good friends. This is Bruce Hurst and Ricky Glickman. Hi. And these are two guys that I've known for a long time, and they are performers and uh, local Jewish community people, so I know them really well. Um, and they perform pretty regularly at Club Denali's in Skokie. At, uh, you, Denali's has been on our show before. It's a, a kosher restaurant, a dairy restaurant, pizza place, the, the, the uh, a brick oven pizza uh, in, in the kosher department of things. And uh, you guys kind of started to do some Jewish entertainment uh, regularly on, on, on weekend nights, and uh, how's it going with that, you guys? Uh, Bruce, you enjoying doing it? We are having a great time Saturday nights. And, and, and Ricky, really, the whole idea of this had nothing to do with uh, people coming in and making money or anything like this. You just thought it would be nice for having uh, some Jewish music being uh, uh, featured in the community, right? Right. About uh, 30 years ago, when I met Bruce, there was a place in Chicago called Elijah's Cup on Western and Lund. I remember Lund. it well. Right, and people could go there, Jewish, young Jewish people could go there, socialize, safe atmosphere, great music. Bruce played there, other guys that uh, I knew they had, it was very nice, they had different genres each night. And when I had my kids, I realized they had nowhere to go. So one of the reasons why I wanted to get involved with Denali's was so that I could bring some music to Chicago. And we have different guests besides Bruce, who sort of runs the show, we have different musical uh, artists that come in each week and play along with Bruce and kind of keep him company. And it, it has exposed a lot of the young people to some of the older music, some new music. It's got given some people a chance to play in public. But most of all, it's given everyone a chance, a place to have a good time. So I know that you've been playing guitar for a long time, but were you ever performing before this? No, I never. never. I'm not that good. So Bruce, you have been performing for a long time. How, when did you start performing? I, I started playing guitar when I was in high school and started performing when I got into college. Well, in the, in the seventies. Let's do some performing. What's the first song you're gonna do for us, Bruce? Well, we picked a Jimmy Buffett tune because we're big Jimmy Buffett. I fans. saw Jimmy Buffett at Wrigley Field in two thousand and six. Uh, it was an incredible show, <clears throat> and uh, the first concert in Wrigley Field, I think maybe ever, or at least in 30 or 40 years, um, it was one wonderful. So I'm a big uh, Jimmy Buffett fan because I enjoyed that show so much. So tell me, uh, what are we going to hear? We're going to hear a Jimmy Buffett classic called Come Monday. Come Monday from Jiffy Bu Jimmy Buffett right here with Bruce Hurst and Ricky Glickman on Taped with Rabbi Doug. San Francisco for the Labor Day weekend show. I've got my hush puppies on. I guess I never was meant for glitter, rock and roll. And honey, I didn't know that I'd be missing you so, but come Monday, it'll be all. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. I spent four lonely days in a brown L.A. haze, and I just want you back by my side. Well, now it's been quite a summer with rental cars and the westbound planes. Now that you're off on vacation, some things are so hard to explain. And honey, it's I love you so. That's the reason I just let you go. And come Monday, it'll be all right. 
Can't wait to see you again And come Monday, it'll be all right Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze And I just want you back by my side I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze And I just want you back by my Thank you. That was great. That was great. You guys just uh, mesh together beautifully. What a nice sound. Tell me something. Um, Do you enjoy playing Jewish music as much as you do secular music, or do you enjoy secular music more because it was your beginning? Um, it depends on the time and the place. I think uh, Jewish music has an unbelievable effect on my soul. Since and uh, so does secular music. I, I understand completely. Let me ask you this. When it comes, now we've had on the show almost, with, with very few exceptions, every world famous uh, pop, pop Jewish artist uh, in, the, in the Jewish Hebrew music scene. I mean, from uh, Avram Fried to, uh, uh, you know, uh, just every person that I can think of almost, you know, he's the biggest name probably on the scene. But when you go down to it, uh, Yiddle has been on the show and um, just so many different uh, artists, many who are out of New York, many who are out of Israel. Is there an artist that you particularly like? In, in the field of Jewish music, I, I have a, a great love for Avram Fried and Avram his Fried music. And great, great. I actually produced some concerts for him when living out of state and in Maryland. And Last Sukkot, for example, we had Mendy Wald on. Mm-hmm. And just a, 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 great a guys. number, a number of people. Great guys. But what fun it is to have them on because these guys really enjoy playing as much as they enjoy performing. Right. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, a, a cool thing. Great. What are you going to do for us next? You're going to do another uh, English song for us? Yeah, we, we're actually going to do another Jimmy Buffett song, and then we're going to branch out a little bit. But uh, this is a little blues number called Lovely Cruise. Okay, Lovely Cruise back in Margaritaville with <laughs> Bruce and Ricky. <laughs> Honey, it's, 
It's been a lovely cruise Sorry it's over Now it's sad but it's true Oh honey it's It's been a lovely cruise These moments together May you always remember These moments were shared by so few There's wind in my head And there's water in my shoes And honey, it's, it's been a long beautiful I, I, I don't know what to say you know what you just have a beautiful tone together and you guys Thanks. you know both of you are, are, are professionals in other professions and you come together for something like this and it just sounds great Thank and that's you. really where I, why I wanted to have you guys on the show it's because terrific. you know the first time I think we were at a party or something and I saw you pick up your guitar <laughs> and you played and the way that people like surrounded you was great and then the first time I heard you with Ricky it was like oh this is so cool well he plays a really unique Finger picking style, which is a very classical style, and I'm just trying to stay out of his way. Basically, he's uh, <laughs> Ricky, but we, uh, know, we do our just he little, adds little, a lot little, little licks and things in between. But uh, our favorite, my favorite part of the music is really Bruce's voice. I just think that that's beautiful. what people comment the most about at the restaurant and stuff. That it is, it is really, really beautiful. Enjoy. So I understand you do a little James Taylor. Am I right about that? Uh, we do some James Taylor. Yeah. Would you would you do something by James Taylor for me? I love James Taylor. I've sat in the front row for James Taylor. Uh, that would be like really wonderful if you could do that. That would be fine. All We're right. gonna, uh, we picked a James Taylor tune, which really is a Carol King tune. I know it is. I know he, I know that song, and that's great. And I love the Carol King version as well. Right. Uh, it's great. And as a matter of fact, when I saw James Taylor at the Hollywood Bowl just uh, a year and a half ago, he did not do this tune. Yeah. So. Um, uh, you know, but you pick it kind of like James Taylor, which is what I like. So this is, right. uh, you've got a friend, right? Right. All right. And you do have a friend, Bruce, right here. When you're down and troubled and you need some love and care and nothing. Oh, nothing is going right Close your eyes and think of me And soon I will be there To brighten up even your darkest night You just call 
And you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you again. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is go, and I'll be there. If the sky above you should grow dark and full of clouds and that old north wind should begin to blow keep your head together and call my name out Soon you'll hear me knocking upon your door. You just call out my name, and you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call, and I'll be there, yeah. Now ain't it good to know that you've got a friend when people can be so cold. They'll hurt you and desert you. And they'll take your soul if you let them. Oh, but don't you let them. You just call out my name. And you know wherever I am, I'll come running to see you. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, all you have to do is call, and I'll be there, yeah, yeah. you got a friend, oh darling, you got a friend, oh baby, you got a friend. Just beautiful, and I Thank do love you. that song, and I appreciate you doing it. Um, we'd love to hear some Jewish music. This is, um, <laughs> um, you know, time is flying by fast, and uh, enjoying the music so much. So before uh, time flies by real fast, can I ask you guys to come back in another time in the future? Sure, we'd love that, to. That would be great. What are you going to do first, a little medley of Jewish we music? We have a little medley, and, uh, and then if we have time, we have some other Jewish music by a great Jewish composer named Bob Dylan. All right. So you let us know. All right. <laughs> this is Bruce Hurst. This is Ricky Glickman, and this is Taped with Rabbi Doug. Baruch Shenatan Torah Le'amo Yisrael Bigdusha Tau Achat Kelo Achat Kelo Achat Kelo Bechol Yom Shiavo Achat Kelo Achat Kelo Achat Kelo Bechol Yom Shiavo Ba kolo ha ve ha, a 
surprised you there, didn't we? You did surprise me there. <laughs> and uh, that was very cool. And uh, you say you're going to do some Bob Dylan for us? If you have time. Yeah, um, this is uh, Robert Zimmerman music right here on Taped with Rabbi Doug. <laughs> Distance is not near. So I remember every face of every man that put me here. And I've seen my light come shining from the west down. They say that every man must fall But I'm sure I see my reflection Someplace so high above the wall And I've seen my light come shining Right. I love 
I saw Bob Dylan at uh, the auditorium about a year and a half ago, and uh, you know he didn't pick up a guitar the whole show. He was playing only on harmonica. keyboards, only on keyboards and harmonica. Yeah, he had harmonica. He was playing mm -hmm. all keyboards. So it's nice to hear some Bob Dylan guitar music <laughs> after that. Um, I got to tell you, time is flying by, and believe it or not, we have almost run out of time, but we have time for another song. Uh, I want to thank, first of all, all of you, our viewers. Remind you, check out our website, www.tvrabbi.com. And if you want to drop me an email or you want to drop Bruce or Ricky an email, I'll be happy to forward it on to them. Info at tvrabbi.com is the email address. I just want to thank you both again. Bruce, of course, we work together part-time, so I see you uh, pretty often. And uh, so you'll, you'll let me know when you're ready to come back. Ricky, I run into you all the time. And, uh, of course, I see everybody in your family all the time. I just saw your sister in California last week. So nice. um, hope that uh, we can arrange for the two of you to come back together again. Thanks so much for being Thanks. with us. Thank all of you for being with us. Once again, this is Bruce Hurst. This is Ricky Glickman. This is Taped with Rabbi Doug. Shalom, everyone. Hope to see you next time. Right now, we are going back to Chicago. that same old place, sweet home Chicago. Oh, one and one is two, and two and two is four. Come on now, baby, I can't take no more. I said, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. Oh, I bought you a Ford, you said you want a Cadillac. I took you to the pump room, you and you called it a snack. I got you a penthouse apartment, you said thanks for the shack. I give you five good looking children, now you want to give them back. I said, come on, baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. You want to play it, Ricky? Don't you want to go? I said, come on. Baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. Two and two is four, six and three is nine. Rabbi Doug, do we have more time? I said, come on. Baby, don't you want to go? Back to that same old place, sweet home Chicago. <laughs>